Welcome to Tangy News. Now's the day's headlines. Draft making of the economic diplomacy promotion project in Tainuyen for the period 2013-2015. Tainuyen radio and television station broadcast live the 68th anniversary of basic victory. Encouraging army and people to stand firm. On May the 6th, the Department of Foreign Affairs held a conference on the draft of the project Economic Diplomacy Promotion in Tainuyen 2013-2020. With regard to the mission of rapid and sustainable development of the provincial economy defined by the resolution of the 18th Congress of Tainuyen Provincial Party Committee for the period 2011-2015, the participants basically agreed on the need to build and issue the overall project of promoting economic diplomacy of Taiwan province in the period 2013-2020. At the conference, the participants made a good deal of contributions to the project with respect to promoting international cooperation. Many suggested adding information drive about the localities of Taiwan regarding foreign partners wanting to establish relations with the province. Also, to better implement the project, some recommended clarifying the specific duty of each relevant department and agency to avoid overlapping of work. All these suggestions and recommendations will be summarized, modified and perfected before submission to the Provincial People's Committee for approval in the near future. After over three years of construction, Newfound Polymetallic Ore Deposits Project in that the district is going into operation. The project investment owners spent about $80 million on environment improvement, land clearance compensation, resettlement and job creation for the local people. During the project implementation, the households that owned more than 360 meters square of land were compensated under the provisions of land law and were supported economic stability. They could receive cars or took part in free occupational training courses at driver, welder, electrician, mining worker and the like. In 2012, more than 400 residents were arranged to work in Newfound Mining Company. Households moved to a new residential area located in the south of Sơn Công Town and Hùng Sơn Commune, that the district. Also, sewage system was also built and public health care was performed in resettlement area. Also, sewage system was also built and public health care was performed in resettlement area to improve the environment for residents. Moreover, systems of water treatment and hazardous waste management were invested by the company to protect local residents living near the mines from air and water pollution. At 1 p.m. on May the 9th, Vietnam time, Tengen radio and television station broadcasted live the 68th anniversary of fascist victory, May the 9th, 1945, May the 9th, 2013, from Red Square in Moscow, the capital of the Russian Federation. Fascist victory on May the 9th, 1945, is taken as a common pride of the peoples all over the world in the struggle for the goal of peace, independence, democracy, and social progress. Identifying the significance of this important political event, Taiwan radio and television station first launched a live broadcast of the 65th anniversary of fascist victory in 2010. This year, it has once again reported successfully the significant annual event. Plans for the program were made early in preparation for the live broadcasting. With a team of experienced Russian translators, good technicians, and modern equipment, Taiwan radio and television station once again brought this meaningful event to audiences nationwide. For a local radio and television station, Boldly launched a live broadcast and directly translated this event into Vietnamese is indeed worth the high appreciation from the Center of Religious Propaganda Department, national audiences, as well as professionals. In April 2013, apart from the reduction in gasoline price, food price also decreased because of abundant supply that affected the decline in consumer price index in Tainuyen of 0.16% compared to last month. 
in particular food and service sectors decreased by 0.67% compared to the previous month but rose up nearly 2% compared to the same period a year ago. Garments, headwear and footwear sectors increased by 0.77% compared to last month and 4.3% over the same period a year ago. Meanwhile, household appliances and equipment businesses went up nearly to 0.3% compared to the last month and 2.1% over the same period last year. Thus, in addition to factors affected by purchasing power, the market price stability is controlled and performed just fairly well. The overall country is currently growing 0.02% and nearly 6.7% as shown by the Consumer Price Index compared to the last month and over the same period last year, respectively. As forecasted by professional agencies, Consumer Price Index of Taiwan in May will remain stable compared to April this year. Following every step of the mission number four to Trường Sa, today we would like you to get to know the medical work on this archipelago. 1,600 people have been examined and provided with medicines. Nearly 500 fishermen were treated and 172 cases have been received emergency ads and operations. These figures reflect obvious advances in army medical work on the archipelago, encouraging its people to be attracted to their fishing grounds and maintain their maritime sovereignty of the country. Fishmen working long days at sea are often faced with many dangers of limited medical equipment and emergency medicines needed on board, etc. Since early this year, the infirmaries of the islands of Song Tu Tây, Trường Sa and Sinh Tôn have given emergency aid to many cases of fishmen having accidents or unusually dangerous diseases brought about by fishing. Only now, after a long journey, did we understand how meaningful a successful appendix or trauma surgery on the archipelago really is. Over the past year, we have timely given first aids and queued about 1,420 medical cases, about 800 to 850 for army and 420 for civilian people and for fishermen in the archipelago. We feel very confident to be on duty here in the front line of the country. Mission number four visited the infirmaries of some islands and were given medical equipment by the Army Medical Department and the Ministry of National Defense. With these devices and the support from the mainland, we are really sure that our compatriots are not alone at sea. We are lucky to come here with the Nguyen Provincial Party Committee. During the trip, we have visited six infirmaries on the islands. The equipment and the people here are always paid attention to by the party and the state, especially the support from the military hospitals, such as the 108 and the 198. With the government's project of maritime development towards 2020, it's hoped that in seven years, the doctors and medical staff of the archipelago will continue to give complete medical assistance to treat diseases characterized by the sea in 70% of the hospitals, health centers of the island districts and hospitals of the coastal marine ministries. The project brings peace of mind to the people working in their fishing grounds and doing their best to maintain the maritime sovereignty of the country. For those who are lucky to be on Trường Sa, certainly cannot forget the moving images and atmosphere of visiting the historical cultural and spiritual works on the archipelago, which make the island soldiers feel closer to the mainland. This is another story we will continue to tell you in the next programs. That comes to end the program today. Thanks for your watching. Goodbye.